This video is provided for informational purposes only. It should not be solely relied upon when installing your Marley NC cooling tower. Always consult with qualified cooling tower installation and safety experts. In order to correctly assemble and install the fan guard on your Marley NC cooling tower, your team should be aware of some basic equipment and procedures. Follow these guidelines to speed the process and ensure correct placement of the fan guard. Please note, if your NC model has a fiberglass fan cylinder, a fan guard is typically not required. Please watch our upcoming video on fan cylinders for more information on installing a fan cylinder to your Marley NC cooling tower. Whether your cooling tower's fan guard ships as a single piece or in two pieces, it will require unpacking and installation. The fan guard is typically packed between the fill and the tie rods on your tower. If the fan guard is secured to the tower with zip ties or similar fasteners, remove these first. The process of removing the fan guards requires at least two people, but is not complicated. The tie rods do not need to be removed in order to access the fan guard. Simply angle each guard piece slightly outwards on one end and slowly work around the tie rods until it is free. Take a moment to lay the guard out on a flat surface and inspect it for warpage and any bends in the metal. Once the fan guard pieces have been removed from the tower, safely transport them to the tower's fan deck using a hoist, ladder, or lift. If your tower shipped with a two-piece fan guard, the two halves can be joined before or after hoisting to the top of the tower. In installations where space on the fan deck is limited, assembling the two halves of the fan guard before hoisting will simplify the installation process on top of the tower. If you partially assemble the fan guard prior to hoisting, the process is straightforward. Use the included hardware along with splice clips to secure one half of the guard to its other half as shown here. We'll discuss the installation hardware in a moment. Once the fan guard has been hoisted to the top of the tower, it is ready for its final installation steps. A single piece fan guard is provided on models NC8401 through NC8403. For these models, position guard D32 over the fan cylinder, raise the center to align it with the holes in the cylinder, and secure the fan guard to the factory installed bolts with supplied nuts. Remember that individual fine numbers for all components and hardware can be found in your installation manual drawings. Watch video two in this series for more information. Models NC8405 through NC8414 use a two-piece fan guard and require guard splice hardware. For these models, first attach the piece labeled D32 to the fan cylinder, then attach the piece labeled D34. If the two pieces have not already been joined to each other, now is the time to attach them using the supplied splice clips, nuts, bolts, and washers. If the two-piece fan guard is assembled on grade, the hoisting strap should be routed through both halves as to not fully rely on the splice clips to carry the load. For more details on your delivery and installation quick start, watch the next video in this series, HC Valve Installation. We'll discuss how the HC valves work in your Marley NC cooling tower and provide some helpful tips for making sure your HC valves are installed correctly in the field. Thanks for watching.